Hey, what is up, people? It is your boy Johnny, and today we're going to be starting Pokemon Let's Go. So I decided to go with the Eevee version this time around because why not? Uh, Eevee is pretty cool, so I decided to go ahead and play the Eevee version of the game. And as you guys can see, it gives you all the controller options once you start the game. Um, it's pretty weird, to be honest, um, but, but it looks like I'll get used to it. So let's go ahead and use the A. I'm going to be using the Joy-Con, I guess. Uh, I would assume that I'll be using the Joy-Con. And do you want to confirm these details? Of course. All right, so guys, I'm so super excited. Uh, presented by Game Freak. Okay, Game Freak. Making these cool Pokemon games. So that was actually a pretty cool intro, believe it or not. They rendered a pre-scene with Eevee where he basically goes into the television and that's actually pretty cool. And guys, the game looks so damn sharp. I know the graphics are probably not going to be the best, but they look really good for a cartoonish game graphics, believe it or not. Um, English and we're going to begin the game. Man, I'm actually quite hyped, I'm not going to lie. to meet you so as you guys can see this is the intro professor oak welcome to the world of pokemon my name is oak people affectionately refer me to as the pokemon professor this world is inhabited far and wide by creatures called pokemon and if you want to know how people tend to interact with pokemon well some people keep them as a companions other keep them as battle companions for myself i study pokemon as a profession now, why don't you tell me about yourself? Well, my name is Johnny. What do you look like? So that's pretty cool. They give you like a customization error, kind of like Oras. And you can be a girl as well. I'm going to go ahead and put mine right here. And how about a name? So I like the flexibility that they give you on customizations. Um, that's pretty dope if you, if you ask me. All right, so we're going to go ahead and go as Johnny because that's what I go by. And I must say, the graphics do look pretty nice considering I'm playing it on my TV or monitor. Right, so your name is Johnny. Yes, my name is Johnny. Well, I don't know what to call him because his name is not Gary. This boy here is your friend and rival who has grown up right next door to you. What is his name now? Um, I don't know. I wanted him to be Gary, but I guess I'm going to have to call him Gary, even though it's not Gary at all. It's a new entire rival. I, I, I thought they had like preset names, but I guess they don't like in some other Pokemon games. It was Gary, was it? Of course it was Gary. Hmm, I see his name is Gary. Johnny, my boy, your very own Pokemon tale is about to unfold. Yes, a world of dreams and adventure where Pokemon awaits. Let's go. So I do like the introduction. It looks pretty awesome, guys. I think that looks pretty legit. The music does indeed sound pretty legit in the game, and it really does feel like a Pokemon game, believe it or not. Many people were saying that it wouldn't feel like a Pokemon game, but it really does feel like a Pokemon game. So as you guys can see, you have your little computer right here, you know, the, the, the YouTubers right here. He's a YouTuber, probably. There is an email from Gary. Hey, Johnny, so here's what you need to know as a trainer. Pray say you can talk to people and, you, and run. Probably press X or something like that. No, that's my menu, okay. So, the menu doesn't give you a lot of options, but you can save when you start, and um, we're going to save our progress. So, it is it is pretty legit, guys. It looks freaking awesome. Open Pokemon Go settings. You can actually connect your Pokemon. 
But I don't believe the update hasn't came out yet, so... Um... That's gonna be kind of pointless at the moment. And what else? Uh, battle effects, switch battle style, vibration, movie skip. You can even skip movies and sound effects and Pokemon cries. I'm gonna leave it how it's set. I'm not gonna mess with it. And as you guys can see, it's a Nintendo Switch and it's connected to the TV. Let's go ahead and go downstairs. I'm coming up. Up and at him. Morning, Johnny. What's going on? You got one weird look on your face. Oh, never mind that. I couldn't wait any longer, so I came to get you. Today's finally the, the big day. We're finally going to get our first Pokemon from Professor Oak and become Pokemon trainers. Oh, but before we do, you read the email I sent you yesterday? Yes, yay. You better have. Check your computer if you didn't. I'm going to book it to the Professor Oak's lab. See you there. I don't want to read your email, bro. I do like the pace that the Pokemon trainer walks, uh, so it's really not a slow pace. It's actually pretty fast. Before you go to Pokemon Lab, Gary asked the professor to give the two of you Pokemon, didn't he? They're showing a movie TV. The scene is showing four boys walking down instead of bro of... But it's time for you to get going. Wait, what? The scene is showing four boys walking down instead of roll rats. Uh, roll rolled. Railroad tracks. I'm sorry about that. Could that be a reference to the Pokemon anime? I don't know. I'm just I'm just talking. Man, the environments really do look nice. I'm not gonna lie. Who's this? Oh, hi, Johnny. Looking for Gary. He went to pick you up. Did you miss each other? He said he was going to the professor's local lab. A picture of Gary. He actually looks kind of like Gary there. So they actually have a picture of him. A copy of a Pokemon journal. If you cherish your Pokemon, they'll love you in return. You can see her face reflected on the TV. Alright guys, I know I'm exploring everything, but you know, whatever. Uh, let's go to the Pokemon Lab and see what we can actually get. Oh hi Johnny, Professor Oak is in here. Do you think those Pokeballs hold the Pokemon you and I are supposed to get? I can't wait to get mine. So Professor Oak is actually not here, believe it or not. Who's this guy? Technology is incredible. You can now connect your smartphone to your game console and send data between them. Oh, really? Oh, well, my good. PG, thanks for the help. I think I understand you all a bit better now, thanks to this. Ah, if it isn't Johnny. Of course, I promised to give you and Gary your Pokemon today, didn't I? Well, in that case, why don't we head over to... Hmm? What's this? Am I going to capture him? Yes, you encountered a wild Eevee. My, my, I surely wouldn't have expected an Eevee to appear around here. But since the opportunity has presented itself, why don't we practice some Pokemon catching? You just have to throw your Pokeball and try to land it on the wild Pokemon for a chance to catch it. Okay, so hold your Joy-Con horizontally and point it straight at the screen. With your Joy-Con pointing at the screen, press the A button when the Pokeball is ready. Alright, so this is going to be pretty weird, but I do like the new mechanism of capturing Pokemon. You can throw your Pokeball by waving your Joy-Con. Just don't forget your surroundings as you get a waving that Joy-Con around in place. I can see a lot of people breaking in their, uh, what's it called? Oh, man. Keep an eye for the rings as you throw the Pokeball and watch out for some Pokeball moves. Yo, I, I, I literally suck at this. Like, it's literally the... F okay, I... You just have to get better. It's a little bit different, but I guess uh, you just gotta get used to it. It is something different, and I know that I'm going to have to capture a lot of Pokemon. 
All right, you caught an Eevee. That was pretty fine performance for a first timer, my boy. Why don't you pick up that Pokeball and give the Eevee you caught a name? What in the... Now that's a lively Pokemon if I ever seen one. Hey wait, come back. Professor Oak, those Pokeballs there, I swear they were only two seconds ago, but now there are three. A perfectly reasonable reaction, my boy. You see, one of them is an Eevee that Johnny just caught now. So wait, Johnny, you yourself caught yourself an Eevee? Yes, I caught myself an Eevee. Wow, I've never seen that happen before. Oh, Prio, how interesting. Well, my boy, this is it. Take that Pokeball and keep good hold of this this time. Uh, where's the Pokeball? Right there. I think it's trying to tell you you're going for the wrong one, pal. Eevee became your Pokemon, so I'm already seeing that there's going to be probably a lot of cutscenes in this game. Um, what a strange Pokemon indeed. It sure doesn't seem to like staying in one place, but as it looks though, it's taking a shine to you, Johnny. Why not give it a name? What kind of name should we give it? Um, I don't know. I'm not going to give it a name right now. If I can give it a name later, that would be pretty cool. I actually want to see how the Pokeball uh, Pokemon Go transfers are. Professor, I choose this one. Gary got a Pikachu from Professor Oak. For a new trainer to catch their first Pokemon themselves, I've never seen such a thing. So what is this? They show you like different location and a Professor of Oak. Let's see what the microscope shows. Strange pattern. He has a lot of Pokemon here, but he only gave me that one, I guess. So, Professor Oak is still the same old Professor Oak. Okay, just one more thing. Now that you're setting out as a trainer, I'd like to ask you to help with something. Take this with on your journey. He's probably going to give us the Pokedex. What is that thing, Professor? This is a Pokedex I have designed. It automatically records record data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It makes an entry for each. It's an extremely high-tech tool. Johnny and Gary, I want you to each take one with you. You got a Pokedex from the Professor Oak. Yay. You'll find you can't get very detailed data on a Pokemon by just seeing them. You must catch a Pokemon to gather the most complete data. Take to make a complete guide to all the Pokemon in the world. That was my dream, but I am too old of a man now. Too old to get a job done myself. That's why I want you young trainers to fulfill my dream for me. Get moving on you two. This is a great undertaking in the Pokemon history. A Pokedex, huh? We're gonna meet so many Pokemon. This keeps getting better and better. I'm setting out right now, Johnny. You do should do the same. If you think you're ready, that is it. But he's the authority. Many people think highly of him. He's an assistant. So, there might be some pretty interesting information, but hey, let's continue the game. I'm really wanting to get into this game right now. Um, is that his mother? Oh, how cute. This one you got from the professor? Wow, you cut it yourself. That's amazing. What should I call your new friend, Eevee? It's lovely Pokemon, Eevee. My, how energetic. I suppose that means you two will be setting off an adventure today, right? I thought this date might come soon, so I planned ahead and got this for you. She got me the town map in your bag. By using that town map in your bag, you'll always know exactly where you are. Safe travels, dear. You and Evie will be good to each other.
Well, there might not be as much dialogue as I expected. Um, hopefully not, because it would totally suck if there were. So I never got to see Gary's room, um, which I named him even though he's not Gary. Well, you can actually... You, I think you can't actually go upstairs. That's kind of lame. Well, most Pokemon games you can. Alright, so let's go ahead and see if we can capture more Pokemon or something. What? Oh, yeah, I forgot, man. Seriously. When you get into this game, if you make the same mistake I did, I, I swear that you're probably going to feel dumb. Um, because I felt dumb just right now. Uh. Okay, so I kind of figured out the Pokeball technique. It's not really that hard. Um, I guess if you're better at it, it gives you a higher chance. I don't really run a Rattatat on my team, but it gives you XP as you capture Pokemon, so that's not a bad thing. And I like how the Pokédex entry does look like in, in this game. What's the check motion? Okay, so you can check the motion right there. Can we battle him? I really wanna. I don't really wanna capture him. But we got a, we got, they give you a ton of Pokeballs, so I don't think it's a bad thing, necessarily. I caught another Rattata, which I don't really want. But I don't think it's a... And here's the catch combo, so uh, the catch combo gives you better Pokemon, hopefully. I heard something about it in the shiny hunting method. But it looks really cool. Guys, believe it or not, the random encounters in the wild isn't all too bad. It really looks pretty awesome when you start getting used to it. I actually kind of like it better that the Pokemon are actually appearing in the wild rather than um, rather than the traditional the stuff that they always had. So if your technique is better, you get more experience points, and you get stuff, and your Pokemon starts learning more attacks. I do want to register a lot of Pokemon to my uh, decks if possible. Alright guys, we're going to go ahead and stop for right now and see what we do on the next part.